Right, thank you, Chip Chumba. Now moving on, uh, President William Ruto has abolished the Kazim Tani project that was started during the tenure of former President Uhuru Kenyatta. Speaking at the groundbreaking of Soweto East a Zone B social housing in Kibra, Nairobi County, Ruto said the youth will now be building houses and not collecting garbage. He said youth from Langata and Kibra will be given the first priority to work on the housing project. Ruto said the number that was employed in Kazim Tani was minimal and more people will be added to the housing project in the latter days. President William Ruto scrapped off Kazim Tani program during the groundbreaking of Soweto East Zone B social housing in Kibra in Nairobi County. Speaking on Tuesday, October 25th, the head of state vowed to include the youth to contribute towards the affordable housing plan in the country through the Juwakali industry. Tutakuwa na nafasi ya ajira ya vijana elfu mbili na miatano katika impango. Najua nyinyi mumeniambia ya kwamba munataka ile kazi ya kazi mtaani. Munisigize, sigizeni. Mambo ya kazi mtaani ni mambo, mambo zamani. Ile kazi mtaani ya kuokota takataka na nini na nini ya pana. Tuachane na iyo. Sasa kazi itakuwa hii. Nini muna nielewa? Iyo kazi miya, iyo, iyo, sigizeni. Iyo kazi ya mtahani. Hakuna kazi ya mtahani tena. Kazi ni hii ya kujenga manyumba hii. Na nimemwambia nimemwambia huyu mungwana wale watu wa kwanza ambao wataajiriwa katika kazi hii ni watu wa hapa langata na watu wa kibra by abolishing Kazim Tani program, Ruto argued that his latest move was meant to empower the Jua Kali industry. Kuambia watu wa Nairobi. Ya kwamba leo tunaanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba hapa Kibra Soweto B. Mimi nataka ni muambie waziri pamoja na permanent secretary ya kwamba waanze kupanga mambo ya Soweto C kwa sababu chini chini ya mwaka mmoja nitarudi hapa tena ili tuweze kuanzisha ujenzi wa langata B langata C ikifuatwa na langata D ndio tufunge mambo ya slum hapa Kibera also, Ruto promised to allocate 40% of the affordable housing work to small businesses. Vile vile, tutakuwa na biashara, mumesikia, tumekubaliana na contractor, ya kwamba yeye atafanya 60% ya kazi. 40% ya biashara itafanya na wafanya biashara wengine wadogo wadogo hawa. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba milango yote karibu elfu nane na miaine itatengenezwa na mahasla wa hapa. The head of state noted that the government is keen on rehabilitating the informal settlement in the country. Hapa wakati mambo ya ujenzi itaendelea. Tutakuwa na wafanyi kazi karibu elfu mbili na miatano wataka ufanya kazi katika huu mpango. He assured the residents that the program will not fail as it did before. Na hii mpango ilikuwa katika mipango yetu for the last five years. Lakini the last five years tumejenga nyumba elfu mbili peke yake. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie watu wa Nairobi na watu wa Kenya. Ya kwamba kabla ya mwaka moja in the next one year tutakuwa tumeanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba 1200 katika taifa letu la Kenya. Ruto also urged Kenyans to pay taxes to avoid being slaves to loan lenders. Tafadhali na waomba. Mahali unafanya kazi kama unafanya kazi mahali fulani na unaona yule mwenye hiyo kazi anakata kulipo mama anakwepa kulipa ushuru wewe tuambie kwa sababu huyo anataka kuharibu maisha yako kwa sababu mtu asipolipa ushuru anaweka hiyo pesa kwa mfuko yake anatuletea hasara kama taifa la Kenya. Na ndio mimi nakubaliana na mama huyu mama Shiro. 
Mama Shiro ameomba mambo ngapi? Mbili. Amesema ya kwanza tunataka utuondolee ushuru ya mambo ya stamp duty. Na hiyo nimekubaliana na yeye kwa sababu hii. Addressing a request from a trader in the audience, Ruto stated that the stamp duty will be removed. Tumesema kama serikali, kama wewe unanunua nyumba yako ya kwanza, first home owner, hatuwezi kukulipisha ushuru tutaondoa mambo ya stamp duty. So, Mama Shiro, mambo ya stamp duty tutaondoa. Sawa? Lakini hata wewe sasa ukubali. Tuk... <laughs> tukiondoa tukiondoa ushuru ya stamp duty ile ya rates wewe ulipe kwa sababu usipolipa rates tutatoa wapi maji jameni na barabara tutajenga na nini na stima tutaweka namna gani na huyu mtu ataokota takataka namna gani huyu mtu wetu sakaja Notably, the first phase of Kazim Tani kicked off in April 2020 as a pilot program. It focused on select informal settlements in the eight counties of Nairobi, Mombasa, Kiambu, Nakuru, Kisumu, Kilifi, Kwale and Mandera. It was introduced under the National Hygiene Program to cushion the youths from the ravaging effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. 